Good morning. So, I did not go to the gym this morning because I am going out with my skateboard this afternoon and there's gonna be lots of skating and walking around. I feel like I can kind of count that as a workout and still not put so much pressure on my knee because if I were to went to the gym this morning and then went around skating and walking a lot, my knee would be dead by then. So I think for once I made a smart decision. <laughs> but what I did do this morning is I did some editing and afterwards I started packing or at least cleaning up and half packing because it was a big mess in my room yesterday and this morning so I right now clean at least the products that I'm not gonna take back home or over there and then well it still looks kind of like a mess but I cleaned it a little bit or at least like I know which products I still want to use and whatsoever then this is all packed so clothes that I'm not gonna wear anymore for sure and then there's still <laughs> clothes that I will either bring his hand luggage we are still today or tomorrow and there's that that needs to be put into there but this is still a mess that i have to clean up i actually did come pretty far this morning and it's currently 12 yeah it's 12 pm so i'm gonna get dressed go out to have some lunch and go to the east riverfront if that's what it's called and skate the manhattan bridge there's still a bagel shop that i want to go to the rainbow bagel thingy i made it to the east river waterfront and i had some good lunch so right now i'm just gonna skate around here because it's, i don't feel like it's not too far from the brooklyn bridge and manhattan bridge because they're over there but i'm just gonna skate around here or maybe walk because there's a lot of people and hopefully take some cool shots But I did it and it was pretty cool, even though it was still slightly scary. But right now I'm going to Williamsburg and hopefully it's not going to rain, but the sky doesn't look as pretty. Okay, so far what I've seen of this neighborhood is very polluted, but that might also be because I'm used to like Brooklyn Heights and the Upper East Side or Times Square where I've worked. And those are relatively richer neighborhoods, I think. On a whole other note, I seriously think I want to move to the US. It's either I want to move to New York or to California. I mean, the more time I've spent here, the more I've started to really enjoy it, and the more I've started to feel like this is this is some way where I could call home, strangely. So I seriously think that in the future I might really be living here. I just went to the bagel shop and I seriously got the bagel for free. Like I was, I could, I could only pay by cash and I'd only have my credit card or my debit card. So they gave me it for free. Like that was so cool. And it was really delicious as well. I only had half of it because I'm not at all hungry. But that was really cool. Thanks to the bagel shop in Williamsburg giving me it for free so but right now I'm walking back to the subway station and going back to the 
up the east side. Oh, and before I forget, you should definitely check out the bagel shop overall, but if you have the chance to go to the one in Williamsburg, I kind of have to say that right now, but it's pretty cool, those rainbow bagels, and especially with the funfetti cream cheese. It's really delicious. The thing about moving here is I have always wanted to do something in the entertainment industry, or at least something creative, like marketing, but mostly advertising. And the biggest creative market, I'll just call it for a second, is the US. When it comes to entertainment, when it comes to creative outlet, I feel like it, the US has the biggest market. And ever since I started to be aware of this market in the US and be aware of the US culture and everything around it and started to fall in love with New York as a little kid once I started watching Glee <laughs> but and Gossip Girl but ever since that day so many people have told me that they don't see me living or spending my entire life in Holland they see me moving out to the US because it's I don't know I've, I've been told that so many times because maybe I talk about it a lot but it just kind of feels like a place where I feel like I can belong as well, if that makes sense somehow. And that's what I've always thought about, especially when we came out to California last year. I love that place and the vibe of that place so much. And now that I've got to experience real New York life, I've fallen in love with it, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm, I'm already thinking about doing my master in the US. But it's so crazy expensive that I'm still thinking about it. But we'll see. I have two more years left at least in the Netherlands because I need to finish my bachelor. And then we'll see what happens. But it's definitely on my list to move out here because the market that I want to work in is definitely a market that fits in the US. Or that is the biggest in the US. So that's why I... I guess been always saying that I want to move to the US. All right, I got pizza. I got just Sour Patch Kids, Mark, and I'm gonna watch some Bones right now. It's sad that on my last night here, it's raining outside and the sky looks so gray. I'm just gonna have a chill night then and finish editing. I've mainly finished packing, so that's good. But for now, I'm gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, probably one more New York vlog, but then I'll update you guys about the new schedule. Subscribe to my channel and live to explore and I'll see you on soon. <laughs> I actually don't know when I can upload. Yeah.